Hello and welcome to Best of Tutorials. My name is Amar and in today's video I would like to show you how to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows 10 to another machine. Now in this video I will need a USB flash drive 8 gig or more uh, so I can fit the operating system to it. So as you see here I already have this flash drive, it's empty and it's 16 gig, so it should be more than enough. First, what we need to do here is to download something called Windows Media Creator. So I will open my Google, my Firefox here, any web browser, and then you can just Google it Windows Media Creation Tool. As so you go to this website here, it's Microsoft. It gives you two options, update now or download the tool. If, if you're upgrading your computer, you will hit this one, download the tool and do it. In my case, I will do this one. So once you download it, you'll save it. And then you run it. So once you open it, it's like this. So you have to accept the agreement. Okay, so now it comes with two options. One is to upgrade this PC now, or the second option says create an installation media USB flash drive DVD or ISO in our case we're going to do this one for today we're going to make it a USB flash drive so we can take a USB flash drive plug it to a computer install Windows on it in my future videos I will go with the ISO options when I do some training related to virtual machines things like that in my next video I will actually show you how to upgrade a, a computer from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive and use this USB flash drive that we're creating today to install Windows on it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I do that. So I'll choose this option, create an installation media and hit next. So notice that here it comes with these uh, options and it's already pre-selected uh, for you and it says use the recommended option for this PC. I think 99% will be the same options unless you want to change the uh, the one to make it 32-bit uh, or you can actually do uh, both of them and then it gives you the option and then here you can select the language and other things I will leave it English I'm leaving it Windows 10 and this computer has uh, probably 8 gig of RAM so I will go with 64 gig 64-bit uh, uh, I'll hit next and giving me the two options one is a USB flash drive and here it says it needs to be at least 8 gig or it says ISO you will need to burn the ISO to a DVD in this case if you want to uh, make it a USB uh, a, a DVD instead of a USB for older computers that doesn't support USB or if you don't have this option or if you want to make it virtual which I'll do next but for this case, for what we're doing today, I will go with the USB option. Hit next. And it found my USB drive. And it's here. Notice that it will come up with, uh, with a warning. So here it says the files on your USB drive will be deleted. To keep these files, back them up now to another saved location. So I, it's just a blank uh, USB so I don't need to do anything but if you do have something on your USB you need to move it before you hit next here because it will delete your files so make sure you do this step before I'll hit next now here it will start downloading and preparing the the image for you and I do have fast internet so it shouldn't take a long time
So almost there. Now you always have the option to download the whole ISO and burn it as uh, as a whole ISO to the to the USB flash drive using Rufus or another tool. I'll do that in the future when I do uh, some playing with old Windows uh, 7 for security. I will I will create these type of videos. So I just remembered while we are doing this, um, if we are installing this on any machine, as the new computers have some uh, some of their keys printed actually uh, internally. So sometimes if you have a home computer that you upgraded to a pro version of Windows, um, you cannot do this way because it will install the home uh, version by default. See here, I uh, just formatted my USB drive and now it's starting burning to it and I'll leave that so anyways what we need to do is to uh, create a file to make the um, the ISO or the the copy we're making it's called a retail channel so we'll do this and we'll uh, I'll show you how so you open notepad first here I have notepad just make it smaller and what we are going to do here is to uh, select the channel that we want or the edition that, that we want and then save it. So in my case I'm just going to install 
the pro version and this is what I do and we do this uh, because we want to join this computer to a domain network that we have and we don't use the home for business so what we need to do is to just type uh, the channel that we want and uh, or just make it a retail and then you always have the option to pick up which one of these you want so all what we need to do is to to do this and then we type here channel close that go a new uh, line and then just do retail like this now we will have to save this file not as a text oh, I spelled it retail we'll have to save it as a different format but while this is happening let's just wait you always have the option to add something like like this for example edition and then ID and then you put professional for example sorry my keyboard here you, you just type the professional but I don't I will not need to do this one for this video If you do have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. Uh, you can always uh, send me a message or you can always write me in the comment below. Uh, I always try to look at uh, those when I have time. And actually, I just started a Facebook page. So if you please follow me or like the page so you can even uh, you can send me a message on Facebook for any future videos, any suggestions. I really appreciate any suggestions uh, that can improve the channel here. If you have any videos or any um, topics you want me to talk about, please also leave them in the comment section below or just send me a message and I will do my best to, uh, to record a video related to that. If you have a slow internet, this will take a while. And you see here, it took me about uh, eight minutes, maybe more, uh, to create this. And I, I do have very fast internet. So if you are if you have very slow internet, you might need to do it uh, the ISO way. You download the full ISO from Microsoft, uh, so you don't have to wait this step. Six percent, almost there.
perfect now it's done and gives you this option if you click on this it will actually open the files for you here so now we need to just write this file to this folder here so we can uh, make it a retail version which gives us the option to pick up which um, which versions of, uh, of Windows 10 that we need so what we need to do here is to file save as and then we will have to go to the D drive or whichever is your USB sources make sure that you change this to all files here so you can change the uh, extension of the file and here what we want to save it as ei.cfg once you do this you hit save and you close that and you close this and we are done so in my next video I will show you how to change the drive and then in the next video I will show you how to actually install Windows 10 Pro on a new uh, or a fresh, a fresh install of Windows 10 Pro on, uh, the, on that computer that I'm just going to change the drive thank you for watching I hope that this video was very helpful for you if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section below if you like this video please give it the thumbs up it really helps the channel grow share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video